it's Anthony here. I've got a brand new camera to show you. This is the Kenavision 7880C, or as you might call it, the Educam Wi-Fi. So this is kind of a unique document camera. Uh, it's totally wireless, runs on a battery, so once it's charged up, you can just place it down and use it, no cables required. It also has a Wi-Fi transmitter built in. So this will put out its own Wi-Fi network that you can then connect to using your mobile devices. So this camera is perfect for a BYOD classroom, or maybe uh, if you have an iPad or other tablet rollout in your school, you want to incorporate it in, into your, uh, your teaching time, this is the camera to do that. You can take your iPads, Android tablets, and now even smartphones, and you can connect to this device, and every student can then take the image from this camera, have it on their device, and annotate over it. So it's great so they can take that home, use it for studying, use it for homework, or whatever else you want to do with it. So I'm going to get into this a little bit, show you how it works and what's involved. So uh, let's set that up now. All right, so what we have here is our camera. And don't worry, it's available in a variety of colors. So if you don't like this purplish blue, then you can get it in red or black or yellow or whatever. Uh, it's got a flexible neck on it, as you can see. Uh, the camera head does rotate, so you can pretty much adjust it however you need to to look at whatever you want it to look at. Over here we've got an autofocus button, and on this side is a page flip button. So if you're looking at your page and you want to flip it upside down, just push that and it'll turn it around for you. You don't have to actually manually do it. So I've got the camera. It's turned on. If you can see, we have the red light and the blinking white light. The red light means it's on. The white light means that the Wi-Fi is turned on. So we, wh what we would do now is connect our devices to the Wi-Fi. So you're going to need a host device. Right here we're using our laptop. You can use a tablet if you like. So if you're a teacher and you're using your iPad, you can use that as the host. You're going to have to connect to the Kenavision's network. So if you look at our laptop Wi-Fi here, You'll see right there, it's connected to Kenavision, Dash, and then a number. That number is going to vary depending on the camera. Each one has its own specific name. Uh, but it'll start with Kenavision, so you'll always know what network it is. So we also have our iPad here on the same network. Now, once you're connected to that, you won't be online. You'll just be connected to that camera. So you don't have to worry about students standing in the back and going on Facebook or browsing the internet or anything. Cause they won't be online. Now, you're going to have to open up Educam Teacher. That's the app right here. That is how you run the whole show. Let me shrink this down a little bit. Now, you may need to, the first time around, get the IP address for your camera, which we already have in here. But once you put that in, you just hit go, and it's going to find the camera on the network. It'll connect to it. And you're all set. Now up here on the screen you have a choice of resolutions. There's XGA, there's 720p, and there's 1080p. Uh, so you can select what resolution you want. Then you hit generate. It's going to generate a session ID number. So that is what your students are going to need to connect to the session. Once that's on your screen you're going to hit advanced. And the session ID stays up on the screen. Now it's up top. You can change some settings in here, like the, the frame rate. And once you're all set there, you just hit go. That's that little button up in the corner. Now we're going to see our picture on the screen. Just going to have it looking at the computer. So you'll see the picture on the screen now. So it is live and transmitting. Now we're going to set it up on the iPad. So we're going to open our Educam Plus app. So teacher is used as the host, Educam Plus is for all everyone connected. We're going to enter our session ID in this line right here, which just so happens to be the same one on the laptop. I already entered it in. Once that's in there, you just hit the icon next to it, and it'll connect. Now, it's going to show whatever cameras are available. It's only the one kind of vision, so we're going to select that. And now we're going to see the same image that we see on the laptop. And this is a live image, so I put my hand under it. You'll not only see it on the laptop, but you're also seeing it on the iPad. 
Now you may notice that the video is a little slow. You know, if I wiggle my fingers here, it doesn't happen on screen right away. It's a couple seconds delay. So this isn't really meant as a video camera. It's meant more of a still image camera. So you put your object, like my hand here, or the computer, or a document, whatever you want to look at in the class, you put it under there. Everyone's going to see it on their device. So now everyone has it right in front of them. It's all well and good, right? But we can do a lot more than that. We've got this little pulsing red button up top. When we tap that, it's going to take a still shot right on the iPad. So this is no longer live on the iPad, as you can see. So now we have a variety of tools that come up on the side here. Uh, you'll notice this is yellow, which is actually our color. So we can annotate right here in the app. I'm going to make it green. I'm going to then select the pen. Color palette go away. So now I can annotate right on my iPad and only mine. So I can be writing and circling whatever I want in green. The person next to me can do it in blue, whatever they want to do. If they don't want to take any notes, they don't have to. Uh, so you draw whatever you want as you're going over certain parts of this picture, the document, uh, the cell that we're looking at, whatever it is. Uh, you mark it up as you see fit. You can clear the screen completely if you wanted to. or you can hit this button here and you can drag your annotations into the trash can and get rid of them. You know, so if you just want to get rid of one, there you go. There's a lot that you can do in this app. And when you're done, you hit that button there. It's going to ask you if you want to save it to the gallery. You hit yes, and there you go. Now that image and the annotations are saved right there on the mobile device. You want to go back to a live image. As a teacher, you change the, the paper or the object under the camera. Student just hits that icon back in the corner, and now it's a live image again. There you go. So again, it's not really meant as a movie camera or a video camera. It's meant more for still images. But I think you, you get an idea of just how powerful it is being able to put whatever's on your desk in front of the class onto each individual device uh, for the student to then use at home, use in class, or use however you see fit. Now, one of the other neat features about this uh, app is if you hit the home button, it's going to bring up the connection screen again. But you'll see there's an option here called blank screen. If we tap on that, it's going to just pull up a blank white screen. So I'm not at all seeing anything from the camera at this point, but I can annotate on this screen as I see fit. I can write whatever I want. I can pull up some drawing tools. I'm making ovals and circles and squares, or I can add text right into that text box. Basically, do what you want. Make your own notes right here. Again, you can save those notes, same as you did the picture. Hit yes. It didn't save it because I have a text box open, but there you go. Now, you can also load up your images. So I hit this button right here, which is next to save. That's load. So we're going to ask it to load up the images. It pulls up saved photos, which I can select. And I have three pictures here, which I was working on before. So this is a previous image I took. So whether I'm still in class or at home or working on a project later on, I can see the picture and all my annotations from class right there on screen. I can make more annotations on top of it if I needed to. And I can resave that. Or I can just clear all the annotations and just leave it exactly the way it is. So now that it's saved on the device, you can email it out. You can basically do whatever you need to because it's an image on the device. So if it's on your iPad, it's on your tablet, just do what you want to do with it. It's saved. So like I said, I think you can see just how powerful a camera like this can be. Uh, we do have uh, the Educam Teacher app available for both PC and Mac, as well as Apple and Android tablets. And the Educam Plus app is available for Apple and Android tablets as well as smartphones. So as I said, a bring your own device school or school where you're rolling out tablets, doesn't matter what it is, you're going to be able to use it. And uh, if you have any questions, give us a call. The number is 866-942-6273. Thanks.